Hi, this is Blair Marnell, TV channel editor for Crave Online. We're here at the Crave Online studio with Caitlin Nacon from The Walking Dead. Hi. <laughs> Caitlin, welcome. Thank you. So you had a big role in last night's episode of The Walking Dead. So how long were you sitting on the secret of Glenn? Oh, very long. Really, really long. And it was hard not to tell anyone because I was so excited about it that it made it really hard not to say anything. <laughs> so when did you guys shoot those scenes? I uh, a while ago, like back in the summer, actually. It was during the summer, yeah. So, so these were your first scenes with Steven Yeun in the series, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. He's really awesome to work with. <laughs> who, who else have you had a chance to work with this season? Um, mostly Chandler. So it's been Chandler and Steven, mostly. So. <laughs> I imagine you have a big role coming up in the Sunday's episode as well. Yeah, we got to we gotta see. We got to wait and see because I can't like confirm or anything. <laughs> So how did you end up on The Walking Dead in the first place? Um, well, my agent sent me an audition, and from there I kind of went through the whole process. And it was really quick. It was in about a week. So it was pretty crazy how my life could change in a week. And also Enid is one of the original characters to the series, so she has no counterpart in the comics. Mm -hmm. How has that helped you build her character? Uh, it's been a little more fun because there's not like a strict guideline that I have to follow, so I can have a little more creativity with her. Now, what has the fan response been to Enid for you so far? Um, good and bad. You know, people like, I, it's mostly good, though. It's mostly good that I see, and I'm really thankful for that. She's also one of the more athletic characters on the show. I mean, have you been able to have fun doing your own kind of stunts for that in terms of climbing? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm still a minor, so a lot of it was with a stunt double. But I would have loved to actually do it <laughs> if I had the chance. This is your first major TV role, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, how... If you had the choice of how your character would go out on The Walking Dead, how would you prefer it? Uh, I would like her face to get bitten off. <laughs> I've, I've, told, I've told people that, yeah, just like a huge chunk out of her head. I think that would look really cool. That's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, if you stick around long enough, your, your picture will end up on one of these cast photos. I know, I'm hoping. <laughs> Especially because uh, they, they roll through the cast so quickly, you have a really shot of being series regular if you stick around long enough. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. I can only I can only wish. <laughs> so, what else are you acting in at the moment? Um. Well, I just recently shot this one thing in New Mexico called Tagged, and it's kind of like a grittier, Pretty Little Liars, and more realistic. Tell us more. Um. It's uh, these three girls get tagged in this video of someone like shooting someone. So it's pretty. It's kind of like um, how social media can take over people's lives and can kind of affect them negatively. Now, spinning out of that, you were in a social media phenomenon a while back called Too Many Cooks. Mm -hmm, yeah. So I had to watch again to, re to re remind myself of who you played in that. Yeah. I was like, I didn't recognize you at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it, was, it looked pretty 80s in that. <laughs> now, when did you guys shoot that, and did you guys have any idea of how bizarre it was going to be? Um, I, I kind of had somewhat of an idea. We shot it a long time ago. It was about, like, two years ago when we filmed it. Um, but... I saw like the storyboard of what it was, but I could never really imagine exactly what it ended up being like. It was just crazy. There's no easy way to describe yeah. what it is. It's, <laughs> it's just weird. Yeah, definitely. So, and, and uh, besides Tagged, The Walking Dead, and Too Many Cooks, what else have you appeared in? Um, I had like this quick five second role in Resurrection, and then just tiny student films here and there. So, Walking Dead's really the biggest thing that I've done so far. You also have a music career as well. Mm hmm. So, Tell us about your EP. Um, well, I wrote an EP, and it's like five songs that I've written, and um, it's called Love in May. You can find it on iTunes. Um, and it's pretty much just these songs that I wrote a while back that I got produced. So. And beyond The Walking Dead, what do you want to do in terms of your acting career? Um, I just want to be happy, like look back on my career and be happy with what I've done. So I mean, it's pretty easy as long as I get to keep acting. Now, you realize that now that you're on The Walking Dead, you can always join the comic book convention circuit as well, because <laughs> yeah. there's always room for guests who've been on the TV series. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty excited for that. I do do um, Walker Stalker cons right now, so we'll see if I spread out a bit. <laughs> now, is there anybody on The Walking Dead cast that you want to work with in the future, assuming Enid makes it out, next, out of next Sunday's episode? Oh, right. Um, I, just everyone. I, I, I just really want to have a chance to work with everyone, because everyone has such a different kind of style when they act and I would just love to learn more about each different style and each different techniques that everyone has. I wanted to ask you about a scene that you shot for Enid earlier this season where 
it, it was a spotlight on her at the beginning of the episode, but it kept cutting away from the violence. Like mm -hmm. when she comes across a turtle, the next thing she's eating the turtle. Mm -hmm. I was did they actually shoot more of that, or was that just a choice to only shoot those parts? Yeah, they. Uh, it was a choice to only shoot that stuff. Um, so they would cut before anything extremely violent happened, and it was just to give it more of um, a mysterious feel almost, and to have it kind of, because like, it skipped from her parents being eaten straight, straight to the, mm -hmm. uh, her face in the car, and so it gave it more of like a dramatic aspect in there. You realize now that Enid is the only character who's actually killed a turtle on the show. Anybody can kill I know, a walker. She I know. killed a turtle. Yeah. And I, ate it. Yeah, and ate it. So I made usefulness out of it. <laughs> It's all, it's all that anyone can do, really. Yeah. <laughs> well, Caitlin, thank you for coming on. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me.